intro, take 473. Cue music. Cue coins. Yeah. All right. Awesome. Now pick them up. I'm not rich. Hello and welcome to part two of the members only video this month. Um, we'll do the dollar coins now. Um, because how shiny and stuff the dollar coins are, I'm going to just put on a glove just to be safe. really hate wearing gloves and they're really hard for me to utilize while, while um, doing videos and coin roll hunts. It's one, one of the several reasons why I don't utilize them, but... Um, with the dollar coins and how nice the last uh, ones can I got from the coin shop were. I'm going to go ahead and glove up. Just to be safe. Um, <laughs> Alright. So let's get into this. Um, and at the time of filming these videos, there I have three members. So thank you very much. Um, if anyone else has joined before this comes out, thank you very, very much. I appreciate it. So I'm going to just kind of try and gently pour these out. Um, I'm wearing the glove because I have to help out a little bit. And I don't want to put fingerprints on these if they are nice. So it looks like we have all... presidents in here in this roll. Not all of them are in the best shape here, um, but we do have some nice dollar coins to look at. And you can see this one has a little surface issues. So it does the Washington there. Um, there's John Adams, a big old fingerprint. That's the other reason why I'm wearing gloves on these is because I don't want to put any extra fingerprints on these. So that's the first roll. We'll slide that out of the way. Um, as I was saying, thank you very much to everyone. Oh, we got some second wheeze in this one. There's no date on the front, so that is a newer one. Um, so very cool. So we have a 2004, I'll just flip through these really quick, 2001, so it looks like I have a 2000, Philadelphia, and we will check this one for the Cheerios, and it does not look like it from here, but I will check that, and I'm looking for the um, Spirit Eagle, or the Wounded Eagle, and then we've got some of the newer style with the edge lettering, and I'll check all these for edge lettering and what have you. And it looks like this might be a little bit of a dated set here. Um, 2001 through 2000, oof, that one has a gnarly little uh, miscoloring there. I think I might have one of these that's nice from the previous hunt I did that I got from the coin shop so yep yeah. some of the newer designs there um and last time from the coin shop i did have some of the innovation dollars and that's the first time i've ever gotten any of those so that is I'm hoping to see a few more of those, but if all I get are Sacagaweas and older coins, presidential dollars and what have you, I would be fine with that as well. And that one has some surface issues on the obverse there. A dated one. And of course, if I could find a mule, one with the presidential reverse and the Sacagawea obverse would be awesome because I would be in the money at that point. 
not going to flip through all of these rolls, but I figured this one we would. Oh, there's a really nice 2000 out of Denver. That one is quite nice shape. Very few surface scratches and nice shiny coin there. And two more. And the surface of the dollar coins do pick up a lot more, a lot easier <laughs> um, than regular coins, in my opinion. So let's see. Let's crack the next roll. Looks like we got more presidentials here. Nope. Oh, we have a Calvin Coolidge. And that's a quite nice shape one. This might be the NIFC ones here. Move these out of the way. Or this might have some of the NIFCs. Oh no, these might all be NIFCs. So the first 20 presidents were released into circulation. And then after the first 20, um, they were NIFCs. So we got Harry Truman, Richard Nixon, Dwight Eisenhower. And uh, probably what I'll do is I'll sort through these. And you know what? We can take a quick look at this roll. But I will sort through all these and um, show you what we have here. Calvin Coolidge. Nice shape. Herbert Hoover. Pretty nice. There's another Herbert Hoover. Nice. FDR. Let's see, FDR, Woodrow Wilson, and a not the best shape Woodrow Wilson there. And we got Warren G. Harding, Warren G. Harding. So it looks like this is a, probably going to be a PND set for each of these presidents. JFK. Theodore Roosevelt and another Teddy there. Let me just grab the rest of these here and we'll just quickly flip through these. Um, who's that? William Howard Taft. Oh, it's this other William Howard Taft. That one's kind of rough shape. Another Richard Nixon. That one is uh, better than the first one. Gerald R. Ford. Linda B. Johnson, another Linda B. Johnson, and a John F. Kennedy. Okay. So it looks like I only had one Gerald R. Ford. But all of those are NIFC presidential coins. So that's pretty cool. And most of them are in pretty nice shape. And since this is $25 rolls, um, they're not going to be even. It would have to be 26 to be an even count, I believe. So that's probably why we were missing one. So we're probably going to find a rest in these. So I'm going to quickly just tump these out and uh, take a quick look at the rest of these rolls on camera. Then I'll get them all sorted and stuff. Unless y'all are enjoying watching this, you know what? Maybe I'll just... Uh, Slowly go through the rest of these. We got more Sacagaweas. More dated Sacagaweas. Let's zoom in. All dated Sacagaweas. 2000 out of Philly. I don't see the extra, tail, extra details on the tail, tail fetters for the Cheerio dollars there. That would be awesome if I come across one of those. But most of these are more dated ones. That one's kind of a little bit rough. And since these are dollar coins, um, and there's so many dates and, and stuff, I'm just gonna, we'll just flip through these um, real quick. So you can, Watch. You can skip ahead if you'd like, 
but I'll just flip through these. Hopefully, I'm trying to look at the coins and just making sure I'm keeping them on the camera. So sorry if I go off the camera here. Um, Cause I'm looking at the coins and not always looking at the camera here. So, so far we've had uh, all dated 2002 through 2008. And in 2009 is when they went to this version. Perfect segue. I was not paying attention to that. So, hmm, I wonder if I have a whole full set of dated ones of these. I'll, I'll go through that and find out. And I'm not really collect. I don't have a um, Sacagawea Presidential Dollar album. Um, just on the fact that it would be expensive because <laughs> every coin's a dollar. So that's why I don't have one of those. As much as I would love to keep all these, I can't. <laughs> this is uh, just these uh, eight rolls is $200 worth. And I need to spend that money elsewhere. <laughs> or I, I need it so I can get coins out of the bank. Look at that. We have a, probably a roll of Susan B. Anthony's. Very cool. Um, So, I did pick up a Susan B. Anthony album. Maybe I'll share that at the end. Oh, this is kind of a mixed roll, it looks like. So, we have some Susan B. Anthony's and um, some do uh, newer dollar coins. 81, 81, 80. This might be a whole set. I might be able to uh, work on the album. Oh, look at this. This is the first um, Innovations dollar from the set here. And there's another one. Hey, and there is another one. Are these all Vermonts? Yep. This looks like these are all Vermonts. Someone probably got a roll of Vermonts and cracked them open. Kept the nicest ones. This is a Denver. Sacagawea. Um, Susan B. Anthony, sorry. Uh, somebody probably got a roll of uh, the Vermont ones. Cracked it. Kept, we kept the few and got rid of the rest. So some pretty fun tone on that one. 1980. And we've got a 2000 out of Denver. It's a deep yellow color on it. Deep yellow toning. Orange toning? Orange. That's pretty cool. And then we got more of Vermont. Then we have 79 Denver. We're going to try to see if we run into a Philly. We're going to check to see if we have a wide rim. There's that San Francisco. And here is the Philly. That rim is normal. Um, you can see it matches up here. Uh, same... Uh, if you want to compare, they have the the 9089, um, the 1980 has the wide rim on it that the 79 is not supposed to have. So if you have one that matches really close, kind of like the 1980 is here, and the 79 is matching, then that is one of the ways you can compare. Ooh, that's a dirty old one. Wow, that is a really super orangey toned Denver that Gerald R. Ford there's our other Gerald R. Ford probably oh Ronald Reagan tear down the wall oh. <laughs> and then more Susan B. Anthony's and there's a 99 so I'll probably have the rest of the, the set there in one of these so let's move that out of the way. Okay, three more rolls. Jeez, do I have a whole presidential set here? And a whole 
Shaq Julia set. And the whole Susan B. Anthony set. Pour this one out. All right. Let's just make the stack a little more easier to uh, build there. Lyndon B. Johnson. It's another one of the NIFCs. John F. Kennedy. That's a repeat. There's that 2003 Philly. It's another one of the newer ones. John F. Kennedy. I have some repeats here. 2005. 2005. Let's sort that over here. Here's some more of the newer um, Native American Sacagaweas. And then another one of those is 2008. An original design, 2004. And one of those. So this was just a mixed roll here. 2003. Oh, that one is dirty. Five. This one looks like a more of a mixed roll. Like here's all the extras that I held on to, um, duplicates and what have you. Some of the ones that aren't quite as nice. Four. Thousand eight. Two thousand out of Denver. Oh, proof time. Proof. We have a William McKinley proof. Looks like it probably has a little. It's got a spot there. I don't know what caused that. A little on the reverse. But that is a proof. We have a proof. 2,000 out of Philly. Um, again, I'm not seeing the extra details, the Cheerio tail feathers, or anything going on with that. But again, I will check under the scope for those. Okay. So we had a proof. In that role. Nice. That's pretty cool. All right, we got two more rolls um, to tump out. Look at. We got more presidential dollars in this one on this side. On the other side, more presidential dollars. Trying to get those out gently, but did not happen. <laughs> All right, let's see. Herbert Hoover. There's more NIFC that looks like William G. Harding. Dwight D. Eisenhower. That one has some stuff on the front. There's another Kennedy. So I'm up to like five or six Kennedys. Gerald R. Ford, another Eisenhower, Harry Truman, another Kennedy, we got another Ger Gerald Ford, Herbert Hoover, uh, let's see. Ruth B. Hayes, that's the 19th president, so that is a circulated one, not a NIFC. Woodrow Wilson. Calvin Coolidge. Um, there's a few presidents I haven't seen yet. James Polk, that's another released in the circulation one. There's uh, Marvin Van Buren circulating. One. There's a Harry Truman. That's an IFC again. And Grover Cleveland. Is that the first Grover Cleveland we've seen? I was just sitting there thinking. I haven't seen a Cleveland. And he's got two different coins because he was president um, 22 and 24, I think it was. 24th. So I'm just thinking. I was like, wow, I haven't seen any of those. Ulysses S. Grant. He's another circulating one. He's the 18th. And Ruth B. Hayes, another circulating 
uh, circulated, released into circulation. James Buchanan was another one that was released into circulation. Let's see what else we have here. FDR, another FDR, another Ronald Reagan, and Warren G. Harding, and Ronald Reagan, and one more down here, another FDR. So, kind of a mixed roll, uh, some repeats. I think we got uh, a Grover Cleveland is the new one out of this set that I haven't seen out the other rolls. But I uh, don't know for sure. <laughs> All right. James Buchanan. We got more presidents on this end. And on the other end, it looks like more presidents as well. Yep. Here we go. All right. These look like uh, Chester Arthur's 21st president. So this is the first NIFC. Chester Arthur, NIFC. William McKinley. It's 25th. William McKinley again. There's another Grover Cleveland. This looks like more of the set that we haven't seen before because we're getting some new ones there. We do have some that are circulating here. James Garfield is the 20th. He is the last released into circulation. Luther B. Hayes released into circulation. Jane Franklin Pierce. Another Franklin Pierce. Um, Fillmore is released into circulation. All these are circulating coins, whether or not they actually got into circulation or not. But those are all 16th president, Mr. Lincoln, Mr. Lincoln, James Garfield. Wait, was the 20th one released or was that the first one? Let's see, what year do we have? 2011. Yeah, I believe 2011 was the last year of... NIFCs. Let's take a look. 2010. Um, I'll have to double check on, Mr. on uh, the 20th president. I'm pretty sure it was the first 20 were released. And then after that, um, Benjamin Harrison, um, those were all NIFCs. You had to actually pick them up. Here's Grover Cleveland. This is the 22nd version. So we have both versions of Grover Cleveland here. Luther B. Hayes. Two, three, four, five more. This is a Scrant. This is a Scrant. Andrew Johnson. Grover Cleveland. And Andrew Johnson. Okay, so. <laughs> we have our coins. They're kind of all off the screen a little bit. I was trying to make room for stuff. Um, the only innovation dollars we got were the Vermonts. And we have, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, six of those. Um, one proof. And the rest was um, presidential or psychic with. So, and a few Susan B. Anthony's. So let me kind of sort these down, get them broken out, and uh, we'll take a quick look, and I'll see if I can add any of those to my personal album, and I'll show you my personal album. Um, it's not the greatest. I picked it up. I think I paid five bucks for it. Brand new, too, but I'll go over that in here in just a second. Um, yeah, so let me sort through these, and I'll double check for um, anything... We're standing out. I'll double check the edge lettering and stuff. That's going to take a little time. So I will be right back. I hope you enjoyed me looking through the coins and looking with me. And if you didn't, um, hope you skipped the chapters if I remember to add them in. <laughs> okay, well, I will be right back. Okay, let's break this down. Got some 79s, 80s, 81, 
Sons, and at 99 here for the Susie B. Anthony's, ended up with six of the Vermont Innovation Dollars, the one proof here, and then 2000, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, all the Sacagaweas here that have the dates on the obverse. And then we had the ones with the reverses here, 2009, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and 17. So that is all of those. Let's look at the presidential dollars now. Okay, here we go. These are the first 20 presidents. These were released in the circulation, and I have at least two of each of these. I haven't checked for any heirs or varieties yet. I'm going to do that here. I just sorted them. We'll be sorting the other presidents as we go along. Um, there are some nice ones, but a lot of these are kind of circulated a little bit. So I don't know what I'm going to be doing in keeping with these or not. But I do have at least two of the first 20 presidents here. So I'll take a look at these and um, then we will uh, go through the rest of the presidents that were in IFCs. Okay, here are all the not intended for circulation presidents. So for one, I am missing one, but let's take a quick look at these. So starting 21st through to 40th. Um, so... These are all not released in circulation, and I have, I th think, at least two of each. I haven't checked for the edge lettering yet, and what have you. Some of these are in quite nice shape, some of them are a little beat up, but it is what it is. Um, it's a nice almost full collection. There are a couple of missing here. Um, and the first missing is would be Jimmy Carter, which, you know, if president missing, that's not a bad one to be missing. <laughs> and then uh, I don't have a George, uh, George Bush, the first George Bush. I believe that's all that's been made because all the remaining presidents are alive. Oh, yeah, Jimmy, is Jimmy Carter still alive? That's why there is no Jimmy Carter. Wow, okay. I'll have to double check and see if he's still alive or not. I thought he passed away. But, yeah, so I'm just missing, missing the George Bush out of this, this set. And uh, that's why there's no Jimmy Carter yet. So, yep, there we go. I'll check these for the edge lettering and see if there's if they're all there. Check for any um, varieties on the reverse. And then I will be back with the final breakdown. Okay, so that's all for the dollar coins. I didn't find any heirs varieties. There were, all the edge lettering was looked good. The best find was probably the proof there, and it's, it's really cool is I do have a full set of presidential dollar coins. I believe I have P&D, although I didn't check for the mint mark because it's on the side here on these, and um, I just checked to make sure the lettering looked good. I didn't stop to look for the mint mark. There, this one is a Denver, it looks like. Yep. It is very hard to see, there we go, the mint marks and find them there. So I just haven't checked. Um, I'll probably take some time to do that. I think I may keep the best P&D from here. I do have some dollar coins I got previously. And I do have some nice ones um, somewhere over here. But I do have some nice dollar coins here. Um, that I might compare, just keep the best two of each. I did hit the one uh, innovation dollar, uh, six of those. That was pretty cool. Um, I haven't pulled out my album yet. I'll do that and I'll show that here at the end. If you want to stick around and take a look at that with, uh, my, uh, Susan B. Anthony album that I picked up. Um, so, uh, you can laugh and hate on it. <laughs> I got it for cheap, so and it was brand new, and I have issues with it. So, so that's a little bit of a story there that 
might, here's a little short. Yeah, we'll just yeah, show you what's going on with that if you if you want to see. Um, yeah, so it was fun going through the dollar coins. All right, well, I do hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that thumbs up. Drop a comment down below and uh, let me know. And do uh, keep me informed about everything and what you're looking for and what you're liking and not liking because I want to provide the value for you guys. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. Have a great day. So I'll have to clean all this up here before I check these against this album. So this album, I picked up brand new, sealed at my coin shop for five bucks. And I was like, you know what? Five dollars for a sturdy album with uh, archival quality stuff. It is a little tin. And that has come back to bite me. <laughs> so, but it does have the the pages and the plastic covering. Although if you look at the plastic covering, they are very spotted um, and what have you. And I am missing, I think four total. I don't know if you can quite see the spotting on that. But yeah, I am missing four total, I think, or two. I'm missing two sleeves. So I don't have these in here. Um, so that's why I did not put the sleeves. Oh, let me zoom back out a little bit. Uh, so that's why well, I don't have the little plastic covers here. They, they came in a little envelope, which I took out of here, uh, an envelope that was attached. And I'm missing two. I haven't contacted Littleton to see if they can send me some. Um, but we'll see how that goes. Um, and this is probably the best dollar coin I got in here. It's a beautiful toned proof. It's kind of hard to see. It's so, the colors so much pop better on in person here. Um, this D-ring that they have in this is terrible. Um... I constantly have to fight with it to get the pages to turn um, because these holes are way too small, these grommets. Here's the reverse of that one. I think I can see the reverse colors popping more, but it does have a much richer color on the reverse than the obverse. That is a gorgeous coin. So, yeah. Uh, I wouldn't exactly spend money on Littleton stuff, but for the price and what it was and being brand new sealed in the plastic, I thought, hey, might as well pick it up. It's two pages. I didn't need to spend 40 bucks on the dance co for two pages. And, you know, I have just have to deal with the crappy workmanship of some things here. Um, and... Uh, just missing some plastic sleeves. <laughs> All right, so let me get this cleaned up and I uh, will show, I'll compare these to what I have in here. Um, and real quick, if, if anyone, I'll probably have these still when I, re oh, I will have all, all these still when I do release the video. So if you're interested in any of these, I can, I'm willing to part with any of them if you want a full set of dollar coins and stuff. So do send me an email, let me know. Um, Again, I'm not going to, I can't keep all of these because uh, this is like $200 here. So <laughs> I do have to uh, get rid of some of them, if not most of them. Um, but I, again, not actively collecting these, but if I did come across nice ones, I probably will hold on to them as I have before. But I do need to, um, I probably need to cull some of that down. So. Again, if you are interested in a full set of dollar coins, reach out to me, shoot me an email, let me know. All right, so I'm just going to try to adjust things so you can see what's going on here. Let me zoom in camera a little bit. And they got 79s. This is a S, which will go in this hole. Denver. Denver. And a Philly regular. I do have the near data wide RAM. I have found a couple of those. I have one that I found that I got graded just because it was the first one I found. I, th I believe I got it graded. Um, but I, I have a couple of those. They're just in 
holders. So that one will fill the spot. And uh, this one here, I might upgrade. I think that one's a little strictly, but so th this one looks like the nicest one here. So I probably will upgrade that one. This one, probably not. So that's those. So this is a side. Although I probably will not fill the spot until I figure out what I'm going to do with it. 80. Denver. Denver. San Francisco. I don't have one of those. So that would fill a spot. Philadelphia. And another Denver. So I got three Denvers. Let's take a quick look at these. The one I have in there, the 1980, is a little circulated, so I probably will upgrade that. Let me pull out this uh, really crappy film cover. There we go. So you can see this one here. It's better than this one. Uh, that one is quite circulated, so I will upgrade with one of these. Um, just quick looking at them, it'd be one of these two. This one's kind of a little bit gunky. And then this one here will just fill the spot. So I do have some fills for this album on these pages. Yeah, I don't have the 80 proof or the 80p, 81p. I just have the Denver here and a San Francisco here as well. Um, so I'll check those. Here is a Denver. That one does look nicer, so I probably will upgrade. And Philadelphia will fill the spot there. Let me pull these boxes out so we can just take a quick look. 81 Philly. 81 Denver. Yeah, that looks like it's definitely an upgrade. Yeah, that one's a bit dirtier now that I pulled the sleeve off of it, the plastic. Um, those are similar. This one looks like it has a little more detail, so I will take a look at that. And since I got the plastic off, let me move these so I don't tump these. So those are probably going to be the upgrades. Ooh, look at that beauty. Man, oh man. All right. And then we have one more here. I'll just go ahead and pop it up here. It's 99 Philly. Let's compare to the one I have in there. I don't have the Denver. I do have a proof, but it is in a, um, a case, and I don't want to pull it out and put it in here. Uh, the one I have in there is a little bit nicer. Surfaces are a little bit better. So, yep, not that one. So that's what I got going on with this album. These things are so hard to get in and out of this, and they're really thin compared to Whitman's and Dansko's. Thought about making a uh, review of different albums, so I have a few different ones, and I've used them for a while, and so I have a few lists of pros and cons for each. I might do that at some point. Um, so that is this album, this really, really crappy album here. And yeah, a little bit extra behind the scenes <laughs> for you. So I got some cleanup to do. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. Have a great day. And a very special thank you to my channel members. Thank you very much to everyone who is supporting the channel going above and beyond. Link below if you're interested in checking out the rewards you get for signing up. Thank you very much.